Hello everyone. Well, today we are talking about something a little bit different. It is the Waterman Allure Deluxe. Uh, you do get the Waterman Allure. I think the difference between the, the Allure and the uh, Allure Deluxe is simply the cap. Okay, it's got a very, it's got a cap with um, some, I don't know, what's that? Uh, some pattern on it. It's like, um, and I think the, the, just the standard allure, it would, it would be just, the, the cap would just be the same color as the barrel. So if it's black, you would have a black cap. Um, blue, you'd have a blue cap, etc. Here you have a chrome finished metal cap. And I think that is the only real difference. So this is a Waterman and um, I really do love Waterman pens. Always wanted a Waterman, but they're so expensive. And this one is not that expensive. Actually, the allure is really a entry level pen. Um, I don't have prices on me, but they, I would say the Waterman Allure is in the same price range as the 2SB Eco, to give you an idea. And, and the, um, the Deluxe is just a little bit more expensive. It's really just the fancy cap that you get with it. Uh, all in all, I have to say this is a pen that I'm very happy with. It's a fabulous writer. It's a fine nib, by the way. This pen looks a lot like... Uh, another pen that I have. The design is very, very similar. And um, when you put them next to each other, you would wonder about, you know, uh, where they come from because they look like they could be family, basically. Um, I don't know if you know which one that is, but I'll I'll show you as well. Um, so we'll we'll talk a little bit more about the pen. I'll zoom in a bit. We can look at some close-ups. And we can do a writing sample, tell you what I like and don't like about it. And um, then you can decide if you want one in your collection. But I can already tell you, I think you should have one. It's a brilliant pen. Absolutely love it. Let's head over to the paper. All right, let's take a closer look at the Waterman Allure Deluxe. Uh, I would say that this is, just to start off with, uh, it's a pen that I really like but it is not perfect by any means and I'll, I'll show you why. Um, let's start with the, with the cap. It's got a lovely finish on it. I don't, I don't know if that's how that is done, but it's got some texture to it. It's a really lovely pattern. It, um, it takes a pen that's really at an entry level and, and it makes it look really nice. The clip is actually spring loaded it's got and it's got just the right amount of tension it's uh, very functional uh, it's very light it's not a tight clip but it works so that's a that's a lovely i think um, little thing about the spin it's got a sort of the the clip is split in the middle there and then we have a waterman logo there at the top very nice. At the center we have, it says, Waterman. But then, when I turn this thing around, at the back we have a piece of the cap that remained unpolished. And that's, uh, that's essentially a factory floor. And it's a pity. I considered returning it. I, I thought about that. I'm sure if I returned it, they would replace it. But um, by the time I saw this, I actually I already inked it up. I was already using it and I, I really love the way this thing writes. So I decided this is something I'm prepared to live with given the uh, price point and everything. And I did get it on a special as well. So didn't really pay full price. Right at the top, um, finial, we just have a shiny section in the middle with a, with a black ring. Uh, nothing fancy and nothing special at the bottom snap cap and it clicks into place very tightly very comfortably and when we take that off we have the section on this one it's just black plastic um, very smooth uh, very comfortable the nib And this is a uh, this is a fine, by the way. Barrel and screws, plastic on plastic threads. 
very smooth um, by the way it's very nice and we use a Waterman proprietary cartridge in this one I'm sure you get converters I don't have one uh, I am fine just taking the cartridges and you know cleaning them out and using them again I have absolutely no problem doing that the ink in this one um, is actually Schaefer black so let me just show you what I've got here so this is the ink that I put in this one I just love the Schaefer inks they are so reliable and consistent and I, I can say very much the same about this pen as well it's, it's just a very reliable consistent writer and I think the Schaefer ink goes very well with this pen uh, with a fine nib I prefer to use dark inks and I would use a lighter ink with a medium or a broader nib uh, I just find that it doesn't work that well to use a light ink with a fine nib then it, you know you don't it's not all that visible but um, the black works nice in this pen uh, what's nice about the barrel being white is that you can really fill this pen with the pen with any color ink, and it, you know, it, it sort of it suits the the pen. Uh, if the barrel was blue, I wouldn't fill it with anything else than blue. If it was red, I would fill it with red. It's just the way I think. I know, you know, some people don't care about stuff like that, but that's just me. Alright, so let's do a writing sample. I'm using Rodeo Dot Pad as usual. Just good quality paper. Oh, before we do the writing sample, I wanted to show you this. So, this is the Waterman. This is the Parker Vector XL. And when you put these two pins next to each other, there are some similarities that are hard to ignore uh, when we look at the top of the pin there are some similarities the clip uh, different yes the rest of the pin I would say very similar very suspicious no let me take off the cap we put them side by side and the nibs I think are essentially identical the section pretty much identical the barrel yeah pretty much identical so I won't say too much about that and the Parker Vector is a pen that I will review at some point but for now let's just have a look at the Waterman does it post Yes, it posts quite securely. Again, I don't really need to post my pins, so I'm not going to be doing that. Waterman, Allure, two lugs, and this is a fine nib. It produces a lovely amount of feedback. It's not scratchy at all, but it is definitely a fine. You get that, um, you know, you feel that most certainly. Wetness, look at that, lovely amount of wetness on this pen. Would you get any kind of um, flex out of this nib? Let's try 
No, not even with not even with some pressure. Uh, I don't get much line variation there, so uh, definitely not. But this nip is quite wet. It will keep up no matter what you do. I find this pen to be really well made. The bolt quality, except for the <laughs> the factory flaw on the polishing of the of the cap, which I will forgive them for. I I, I do understand this is not uh, this is not what these pens look like. This is just mine, and I can live with it. But the the bolt quality overall, I find to be really nice. The um, the deluxe, which is really just a cap that's been beautified, is really nice. It's a nice touch. It it, it makes the pen stand out. It's the, it makes it noticed. Um, people definitely notice this pen. The clip is nice. The barrel is nice. It's got a nice plastic finish. It's not. Um, it's a sort of a matte finish. So it's not smooth. It well, it's smooth, but it's not not like gloss. It's not going to uh, show up fingerprints either. The size of the pen I find to be ideal. The weight of the pen is ideal. The section is so comfortable to hold. Really everything about this pen is just the way that I like it. Um, it is one of my best writers. I use it all the time because it is, it is just a pen that works. It looks beautiful. You can take it anywhere. It always catches the eye. Um, people notice it, but it's not too flashy. It's it's that perfect in between, really well balanced in everything that you want. It looks good. It feels good. It writes it writes well. Um, the cartridge holds a decent amount of ink. All in all, this pen for me is an absolute winner. If you don't have one, I would recommend getting one. I think it's it's totally worth the money it's not that expensive and it writes far better than many of my other pens that are much more expensive than this uh, please remember to like and subscribe leave a comment uh, let me know if you have waterman like this if you have a, an allure or allure deluxe uh, what is your experience uh, with these pens and thank you for watching i will see you next time